I've argued for many years that uh, it's actually your eastern border, which is your most important border when it comes to foreign relations. It's been neglected for many years, and maybe for too long. So let us say, look at the, the realities on the border there. Why is Myanmar that important to India? Well, first of all, and I have four points here. The first one is very obvious, <clears throat> security concerns. They are cross-border insurgencies. Uh, the rebels from uh, the Naga, Manipur, and Assamese groups, which are bases on the, on the Myanmar side of the border, from there they've launched <clears throat> Excuse me. Cross border attacks into India, and then they come back to Myanmar, and there's nothing in the Indian military can do, can do about it. And for years, India has tried to have some kind of cooperation with the Myanmar military, but it's been little progress. And uh, that is also understandable because the Myanmar military has more pressing ethnic problems elsewhere in the country that we want to focus on. It was only last year that we saw some movement in the score. And that was when the Myanmar army actually captured Taka, which was the joint headquarters for Naga, Manipur, and Assamese groups. There wasn't much fighting. I think they actually were tipped off before to you know, get, it, get out of that. But nevertheless, the, the camp was abandoned. And there was a, a major step because it was actually the first time Myanmar had admitted that there were such camps on the territory. They deny that all along, at least to, to me and to others as well, when I raise the issue. But <clears throat> there are still more camps in the surrounding mountains, and there are connections between those camps and leaders of these groups are living in exile in China. They're living in really in Tengchong, and weapons and other commodities and equipment has been obtained on the Chinese side of the border and on the border and sent across northern Myanmar to these camps. So obviously, India has a very pressing security concern there, which, should, which I think should be taken very seriously. And the second is, of course, what we've been touching on so far in Dr. Chastri's presentation and so on, that is Chinese influence in Myanmar. <clears throat> it is in India's interest to keep China's influence there at acceptable levels. There's no way it can disappear because China is, an, is, is a very powerful neighbor. But nevertheless, it is not in India's interest to have another Chinese client state on another border. I'm not saying that Myanmar is, but certainly India certainly doesn't want it to become one. The third point is, of course, uh, the low keys, which is now called the active pol uh, pol policy. Myanmar is obviously linked between India and the lucrative markets in Southeast Asia. And if it's going to be a highway from India to Singapore one day, it would have to go through Myanmar. There's no other route available. And the fourth reason is, of course, uh, <clears throat> that India's rapidly growing economy needs energy. And India has shown interest in buying more oil, gas, and perhaps even hydroelectric power from, from Myanmar. So if you take these two four factors, <clears throat> I would argue that that's where your most important border is. And that is there you can actually have opportunities that we actually can do something, where there's, there can be some progress can be made. I can't see that on your other borders, not to the same extent in any way. 